What's going on YouTube? Today is February 10th, 2024 at the time of the filming of this video. I'm seeing a lot of things in my feed. Uh, some of them may be stacking channels, but the majority of them are financial channels. Things like banks aren't loaning, the banking crisis is upon us. And while I'm not a financial advisor and nothing I say should be construed as financial advice, you know, that is not my experience. Every day, pretty much, I get emails, I get mail, mail, snail mail, whatever you want to call it, I'm trying to get me to borrow money. And, forgive the term, these are legitimate lenders, if there is such a thing. But, I mean, they're, they're real, you know, it, it is what it is. And, you know, my experience is that banks are lending. The terms may not be as good as they once were, but I'm still getting some offers with some pretty good terms, that, you know, as far as lending goes. And, and of course, I don't um, borrow money from these outfits, but I could. So, to say banks aren't lending, and I'm not saying anyone's <clears throat> lying or being dishonest, but that is not my experience. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> we got a little something something here today. This is from Bold Precious Metals. Let me be very clear. I do not recommend buying platinum from Bold, Hero, or Monument Metals, and I'll tell you why. It is significantly, uh, last night, it was about $15 cheaper per coin to use Money Metals Exchange. The reason I did not is because, <laughs> and I laugh because many of you probably will understand, of a United States Post Office issue that I had. These are beautiful. I love these. And I laugh because Money Metals, what they do is they make it so that you have to pretty much sign for the packages that they send out. And it always tends to come either when I'm not here, uh, I was here once to intercept it, or when um, they don't knock. Or I step away for <clears throat> two seconds and can't get to the door. Did you hear that, Bob? Death from below? I know you love that sound. We've talked about it. So, I went with Bold. I've gone with Monument once. Uh, in fact, I have more of this coming from Bold. But I had an interesting twist of events. My letter carrier turns out to be pretty cool, actually. Um, so, the first time I went, I signed, and I went online, and I said I'd be at the post office to pick it up the next day. And I did, no problem. So it was great. Except for the fact that I had to go to the post office to pick up a $230 package. Um, that was kind of a pain. But I get why they do it. And I'm cool. Whatever. Um, let me uh, see if I can zoom in a little bit on these. So I did it. And <laughs> the next week when my, my next platinum package came, I did the thing online where I said I'll be there tomorrow to pick it up at the post office and I went there and it wasn't there and I was very very irritated I was very displeased and <clears throat> I come home and in my box is a note from my letter carrier that says signature required I don't want one of those little pink slips you know or were you um, sorry we missed you or whatever uh, and it gives you options um, he, he or she wrote a note that said, because the signature is required, you can sign this the day that I miss you, leave it in your box, and I'll leave it in your box. I'm like, oh, cool. Well, I'd already made a couple orders, uh, and I use e-checks. So my orders take a while. In fact, I started stacking platinum January 8th, I believe. Today's the 10th of February. When all things arrive, I still have, uh, honestly, I think I got four orders out still. Three, three, I think. I think this was one of the, I think this was one of them. I got three or four orders out. I'll be at 1.4 ounces of platinum, you know, purchased in a month. I, I haven't received it all. And that far exceeded my expectations. 
And anyway, so I got that note, and I was like, oh, way cool. So now <clears throat> uh, I'm using Money Metals again. It's going to take me an extra day because of that, but uh, I did make these orders from Bold Hero. I have some platinum coming from Hero. I have another Bold order coming, and I did use Monument because of that. And I, I've, I've discovered that I would say anywhere between $12, $50, $13 to $15 or $16 more per coin on those sites than Money Metals Exchange. Which, you know, and it's funny because I've talked. Uh, about Money Metals Exchange, and I, I, I didn't understand why people use them so much because I didn't think their prices were anything to write home about. They weren't the worst, uh, but when it comes to platinum, I, I can say that they are the best that I have found. So, uh, and honestly, their silver prices lately haven't been too bad. If I take and I buy platinum and I want to get the free shipping at 200 bucks, I can if I'm only ordering one tenth ounce piece, I can add uh, some silver pieces and still come in under. Uh, what I would to get the same stuff because of the platinum on the three sites that I normally you know stick to, which is Hero, Bold, and Monument. And don't get me wrong, I love all three of those sites. I love them. They're just not the move for platinum, in my opinion. Uh, they're not bad, <clears throat> but they're not Money Metals great. That's for sure. So I just thought I'd pass that along. You know, it's it's kind of my job. It's definitely my responsibility to be honest and tell people where. You know, the deals are better and where they're not uh, on certain things. Uh, but I can tell you that all four of those sites have been legitimate in all my experiences. I've had nothing but, you know, good good uh, customer service. I've always received my product. Uh, but as far as Platinum, Money Metals is definitely, definitely the best buy out there that I have found. Uh, I hear there are some others. Um, maybe I'll check into them at some point. But uh, I'm very pleased. And I'm very happy to have reached a new goal. You know, this right now, there's eight in this tube. This puts me at ten. And I got four more on the way. That's pretty cool. This tube says it'll hold twenty. We're gonna find out, kids. We're gonna find out. That being said, I do not have a crystal ball, but if you could like, subscribe, comment, head on over to Rumble, um, check me out over there. Link in the description below. Uh, follow, like, comment over there so I know you're there. I can't find who's following me over there so drop a comment so i know and if you make content over there also let me know that reach out send some mail whatever um that'd be great and as far as the bank thing goes listen i'm not saying you know people are being dishonest i'm just saying that's not my experience now i think you're <clears throat> no offense i think if you have a bunch of your your savings you know a, a huge portion of your your savings in wells fargo or Bank of America, or J.P. Morgan Chase, or U.S. Bank. Uh, I can't stand those banks. They're horrible. Uh, they don't pay hardly any interest. You know, I don't use them. I use places like Capital One uh, Performance Savings. It pays 4.3. I use Live Oak Bank. I think it pays 4.6, four, 4.7. Four, four, I use Wealthfront, which is an online bank. It pays um, 5%. Uh, I do like capital uh, performance. It doesn't. It pays 4.3, which is not as much, but I can transfer immediately from my Capital One uh, um, checking account <clears throat> to my savings account. Boom, bang! It's free. It's all of them are free. It's fast, uh, and it's not J.P. Morgan Chase. It's not Bank of America. It's not Wells Fargo, or Hell's Fargo, and it's not U.S. Bank. It's not these these these. You know, banks with, especially Bank of America, uh, as far as risk goes, do I think the government's going to let them fail? No, I don't. I'm sorry. I just don't. Um, do I worry about, I mean, yes, there's a chance you could lose your money in there. Sure. Uh, I don't think it's extremely likely. Uh, I think it could happen. But um, Bank of America is making some really bad lending decisions, and they have been for a while, so... Uh, and you know it's being said right now that JP Morgan's in trouble I don't know they they have quite a bit of silver so who knows but uh, those are banks I don't do business with I won't do business with and if you do business with them they're not paying you uh, much of a return and they're not great banks in my opinion but I don't think the big banks are going anywhere uh, for the most part I think the government will always bail them out because they can't afford to let them go belly up People would lose their minds. That being said, like, subscribe, like, subscribe comment, share, and uh, keep stacking.